I've been waiting for this for a couple of months now uh, with the way the pandemic's gone there's been a long wait for quite a few bits and pieces from various suppliers coming out of China um, so what this is is a Vixen style to Losmandy so narrow to wide adapter plate so what this will do is allow me to run this narrow plate in the EQ6 which is what um, what it has as default saddle plate um, uh, and run it up to this large Losmandy D style plate um, which is what I have mounted on the uh, bottom of the uh, 10 inch SCT, Meet SCT. Um, what I particularly like about this um, this adapter plate which I wasn't expecting is that it's spring loaded so that means that when uh, when I'm sitting here with this and tightening it up there's that spring in there that will mean that as it uh, as it goes on the scope and if I try and release it it will spring back so it won't bind when I'm trying to take it off so um, it's just a nice little touch keeps the positive pressure on there so very impressed with it as a tool um, so that leads us into now I'm going to have to take the OTA off the mead and take it out of the forks so that's the next job okay so here we've got the um, OTA still in its forks um, you probably remember from one of my earlier videos I replaced all of these with fresh stainless screws uh, they normally are socket head uh, Allen screws but these two in particular uh, I didn't couldn't get the right um, head for them uh, for the thread size uh, being all imperial measurements um, that they're hard to get in Australia um, so anyway we're going to take these two off as well as that do the same on the other side and see how hard it is for this to come out of here let's give this a go Didn't think this through, got to roll this over now while I've got this half detached so otherwise you won't see what's going on. So let me see how I go with this. Man, this thing is heavy. Okay. There she is. So, a couple things that's worth noting. When I started taking it out, um, The uh, saddle plate arm twisted and so it's actually scratched up the outside of the OTA in that process so that's a bit frustrating so I will 
have to repair that a little later. Um, which that's why everything was really tight when I couldn't move it. So um, it's a bit unfortunate that it scratched it up a little. And a bit of dust and stuff. But won't affect the functionality. So, so let's have a look uh, what we would be actually doing. This is so much lighter without all the heavy base parts on it. <laughs> So, so this is the plate, just undo that, slide on from the front, that's it, she's ready to go, mount. calculation so the big scope is mounted as far back on this adapter as it can be um, and if I were to uh, hang on to this not enough feeds to an issue with the dew shield hanging off that but that's not a big deal this however is a very big deal it is hitting here and it's definitely not going to get any better as it goes around so I'm gonna to have to either remove a significant amount of stuff off this image train which means probably the focal reducer and the off-axis guider. Even then, not 100% certain that I've got enough room to do everything I want to do. Um, and I've had to move this as far forward as I can just to try and get close to getting it balanced. So that's going to suck too. Um, so right now, I think my only options are, let's see if I can clear that off and actually get around the corner. If not, I'm either going to have to put the mount on its tripod and just sit the tripod in here and move it back this way towards the south, or I need to unbolt the dome and move it that way which would seriously suck okay so in order to even come vaguely close to balance i've got the two original counterweights i'm using to sandwich another two five kilos each so i think they're five five so this is 20 kilos on here in order to balance out this um, it's the, even with that it's still not quite balanced um, so it's close and once we get over about there it, it rolls away but it's about as close as I'm gonna get because I don't want to put any more weight on it I think we're already uh, targeting I guess the the maximum weight that this mount can take uh, flip side is the clearance issue I've managed to solve 
but this means I'm going at full focal f10, so at two and a half meters. So I don't even know if that's going to reach focus there. It should, um, but everything is super close. Um, but I can do it. And I'm not going to ever get down to that kind of level anyway, I don't think so. Um, we'll have to watch carefully though, because when, let's say, I've got it there perhaps, and then we rotate around. This way, we're gonna get super duper close here. Yeah, we're gonna hit here. So, I think this whole project is gonna have to be deemed a bit of a failure, to be honest. Um, I think that what's gonna have to happen is um, I'm going to have to mount uh, the tripod in here, get rid of all of this stuff out of here, and mount the tripod a little bit further this way, which is super frustrating. But uh, it's already getting dark, so I'll just mull over that at night in my nightmares.